Alright, I've already got a clutch of Ridgetail monitors in the incubator. But I just come down and do a little bit of a maintenance then. And once the female's laid, she's very receptible. Or well, susceptible is when she's most likely to receive. And here we have some serious foreplay. And as per usual, for some unknown reason in this case, that's her getting on top of him. She always instigates it. She should give Jodie some ideas, I think. You see her getting him towing. And then she just totally tarts it out and gives it to him. She's just full on whore bag, mate. She just wants it. Wants both his hemipenes and he wants them now. <laughs> anyway. These guys would have to be 10 years old. Maybe a little bit more. You can see the size difference with him to her. See his head compared to hers. And you can see the, the bulk in his head and whatnot. You usually can tell the males, quite male adults anyway, straight away that, that way. Also down near their, their bum they've got spores or whatnot. Dirty little whore bags. Tapping ass hardcore. Look at her. Hey? She makes bloody Paris Hilton look like a, a saint. Dirty little bitch. But since I've owned her, she has at least three clutches a year, sometimes four. Of obvious reasons. She only eats and roots, that's all she does. But um first clutch is usually eight or nine. And the first clutch th this clutch this year, I overflow the water and there's no fucking water in there. Into there to keep the in that that's a buried water container, a, a plastic container with sand in it, and it retains the moisture from that um water bowl there and I accidentally wet it too much and she knew that it was too wet so she laid the eggs up on top and they dried out in a period of hours you know no time at all the second clutch I seen her very very emaciated she looked as skinny as anything I thought hang on a sec you've done something here and I dug them up and I think there's nine or twelve or something or other sometimes she has you know when she has twelve or thirteen eggs you look and think how the hell do those eggs fit inside her body? I mean, they must have been touching her tonsils all the way down to a fanny. It's full on. It just, it just doesn't look like there's enough room in there to fit, much less all her vital organs or whatnot. That also has to work. You've got to get underneath, babe. You're doing it wrong. And this is, this is your kinky shit. Just a minute ago I came down and actually he was doing the deed so I don't know if this is <coughs> part two of it or here we go or, if, or what's going on. Uh, have you guys ever seen me make a video without my freaking phone ringing? Always. Good afternoon Tony Harrison speaking. Not too bad. ABC Centre is that? Yeah, know it very well. Alright, no worries, I'll go do that job and I'll just flick use the email or the invoice and. I'm not too sure. Where <coughs> I'm not too sure whether I had the details, but I'll give you mine anyway. It's Gold Coast Snake Man. Go sorry, Gold Coast Snake Man. at bigpond.com right, I'll be there in about 25 minutes too easy, alright bye hi ho, hi ho it's off to work I go so you two dirty bastards can do this in peace anyway.